Hello, everybody. This is Bud, and welcome again to another day in the 90-day video and written blog that is Blog and Vlog Challenge, 90-day Blog and Vlog Challenge. I appreciate you every time you show up, and no less today. Uh, I do want to share with you something different than perhaps um, the majority of the blogs so far, the vlog so far, and that is to concentrate on something besides the topic of the blog, which today is, uh, why don't people say T-G-I-M more? T-G-I-M. Why don't people say T-G-I-M more? Okay, so we're all familiar with TGIF, thank goodness it's Friday, but what about thank goodness it's Monday, right? When you hear the term, the phrase, thank goodness it's Friday, a certain something comes to mind, a certain feeling uh, overcomes you, and yet when you hear the word uh, Monday, a whole different um, effect is had upon you. It has to do with uh, our associations with those words and what it means for most of us. But rather than to spend too much time on that and to take away from what I'd really like to be sharing with you today, um, I'm going to suggest that you click on the link below, uh, which is below every video, it's a part of the template that I set up with the video uh, portion of the uh, blog, uh, the uh, vlog, and that is a link to the site where all the written blogs uh, are hosted. Um, but um, before we get into the topic of today and what it has to do with is what I spent my day doing today, the greater portion of my day, uh, but before we get into that, I want to talk about uh, the typing results. Uh, again, um, today is day 60 of uh, 90 days. Actually, probably at the rate I'm going, it's going to be um, a few more days than 90 days to attain my goal of 140 to 145 words per minute. But at any rate, today again is day 60. And I attained 39 words per minute um, in 9 minutes 15 seconds with a error percentage of 14.4. 14.4 being the single highest uh, error percentage I've attained to uh, thus far, but um, 39 words per minute uh, anyway. What all that math means in association to the words per minute? I can't tell you. Uh, somebody who's maybe taught uh, typing or has taken typing classes uh, recently and can speak to that, perhaps you can uh, enter something into the comment uh, box uh, to let me know so I can uh, better understand that. But uh, there that is, so we're done with that. Uh, the thing I want to share with you, turn you on to, is a rather neat uh, thing that was shared with me not too long ago, uh, and that is a community event that I attended for the first time today, and that is, and let me just bring this, well, let me just show you the flyer. This is the flyer that, um, that's the phone. Uh, this is the flyer, and let me just hold it up here long enough for you to get a good look at it, and then I'm going to set it down. Um, that happens to be the Isabel of the uh, of the um, the Isabel that you see on the um, written blog uh, portion. Uh, I'm kind of the video uh, blog guy, and uh, my partner in this um, endeavor, uh, Isabel, she um, uh, you'll see her picture um, on the. Um, on the actual blog, the written portion of this blog, blog uh, challenge. But anyway, so um, she's coming back from Maine or somewhere, 
and uh, and uh, you know probably uh, nearing here. Uh, but anyway, um, Repair Cafe. I'm going to bring over a window that I had uh, set up prior to, so that you can see this. What it is is a concept that began oh I don't know how long ago, but it's really catching on. Repair Cafe uh, Cafe. And as you can see right here, it says, toss it away, no way, okay, about the repair cafe. What do you do with a chair when the leg has come loose, with a toaster that no longer works, or a wooden jumper with mouth holes, or mouth holes, toss it away, no way. You can't repair it at the repair cafe. And <clears throat> um, like I said, I spent the day there uh, today at a local one. And I took uh, a, a number of pictures of the attendees, uh, both from the viewpoint of the, uh, the uh, service providers, uh, if you will, the repair people, and uh, the people who, who came and uh, brought uh, their items to be repaired. And um, I met people for the first time. Uh, I knew some folks, like the fellow, he turned me on to this. He, he attends it, has been uh, almost from its inception, but, um, but met some, some neat people, as you might imagine, people who have some skills, who have some expertise, but who are willing to uh, come and volunteer their time and their knowledge uh, in order to not only repair things for people, but to, to teach people, uh, to get them involved in the repair process, and, um, and, and, you know, educate them to where, you know, they don't have to be so reliant upon others all the time for every little thing that, um, that uh, gets broken. They can actually uh, begin uh, this process of learning in order to do themselves and to what? And to eventually uh, teach others. It might be a little bit uh, now in the beginning, but, you know, eventually over time, more and more information they will have amassed themselves. They will have some... Uh, some uh, hands-on time, and they'll be able to then get uh, give back. But and importantly, is not so many things are going to uh, to the to the dumps, to uh, the landfills. And um, let me just share with you on this next link, uh, this first uh, page. And you, you just have to you know Google, uh, do a search on the internet about Repair Cafe. A. Uh, again, it's been around for a while. Here it is uh, a listing of uh, the various uh, repair cafe locations around the world. As you can see, uh, however long ago it started, I believe it was in the Netherlands, it's really uh, beginning to catch on. You have uh, repair cafes uh, all over the world now, um, a strong presence in uh, Germany, uh, a strong presence in uh, the Netherlands, as you can see. Switzerland, uh, United Kingdom, United States, not so much. Here's where I was today, New Paltz, uh, New York. For uh, for all of you know, the United States, there's you know, just this few, and uh, I'm fortunate in that there was one here locally. But if if this is something that um, that intrigues you, if it's something you'd like to find out more information on, uh, again, all you have to do is look up right here, uh, Repair Cafe. Dot org, okay, and then there's also a link, you know, how to start a repair cafe. Now, even if you, I mean, it'd be nice you could, uh, you know, give, we want to enrich our lives, not so that we can enrich ourselves, but so that we can have something, um, you know, an abundance with which to uh, enrich others, okay, and so this would be a way in which you could uh, give back to the community, um, you know, expand your horizons, get to know other people who are of a particular like mind, a, a like mind uh, of, of, you know, wanting to give back, wanting to share uh, their knowledge, their expertise, their time in, uh, you know, specifically for helping others. And um, even if you don't have uh, the time or the wherewithal to 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 actually you know be the driving force in managing this uh, from a you know uh, event to event. Now, if you're locally in New Paltz, uh, they actually do it every other month, and that's about seven miles north 
uh, or rather south of uh, this position. But when I was there, I actually met uh, two ladies who are wanting to get one started right here in Rosendale. So that will be interesting. But uh, again, getting back to your potential involvement, even if you don't have the time or the wherewithal to actually uh, you know, coordinate and host and manage and do all that, you can still take this concept and uh, together with the, with, the, uh, with the links and uh, share it with people, your local churches, uh, community centers, uh, you know, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, any of these kinds of organizations that, um, that have a little bit more in the way of, uh, of, of manpower and organizational skills, and you can get um, you can get the ball rolling on this. It's kind of like the uh, the snowball, you know, the little pebble at the top of a mountain. You know, you flick the thing and you get it going. You get the momentum going, and it builds in 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 mass and in speed. And pretty soon you've got you know this huge you know a humongous thing. And um, again, it's just a neat way to uh, give back to the community. A neat way to get out there to meet other people of a particular mind, you're like-minded, caring, sharing, it's a neat opportunity to find out where people are hurting to where you can, you know, help them uh, because as you get to know people, become uh, friendly and, and familiar, uh, people open up, they communicate things that they might not uh, be willing to, to share with, uh, with others otherwise. And so it's just a tremendous uh, and, 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 and profitable uh, from a... Um, from a you know giving and taking uh, 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 meaning of the word, not you know dollars, uh, and not everything has to be about dollars. That's the thing, um, you know. But you know when we take uh, of what we have and give, give of ourselves, uh, then and only then are we truly enriched. And sometimes that manifests itself monetarily. But uh, I tell you, if, if it's all about the money, if that's the kind of the, uh, people that we are, um, and I know I've been that way uh, a large part of my life, um, it's really a, a shallow, it's really a hollow uh, existence. We have to be uh, givers of, of our time and our energies and, uh, you know, helping. Uh, today I was able to help uh, one of the uh, gentlemen there, uh, one of the, the, the repair people, He's uh, in his 70s. He's a woodworker. He had a woodworker station, and um, but um, but he's got a, a, a bad back, and and they had somebody uh, scheduled to work with him today to help him with the lifting and the turning and the holding of things. And uh, that person, for whatever reason, could not uh, make it today. So uh, I was asked as a you know, general handyman um, to uh, to assist him, and so I was able to spend some time getting to know him and. And, uh, you know, he was the kind of person who, in working, tended to speak out loud, you know, think out loud. And so I was able to really uh, pick up some, some, uh, uh, some techniques and some tricks and some expertise that he's acquired over the however many years he's been, uh, been, been a woodworker. So um, just, you know, tremendous, tremendous experience. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to be on here uh, too much longer. We're running out of time. Uh, but look this up and um, don't don't forget you know click on the link go to the uh, to the blog site and read up on today's topic again why don't people say thank goodness it's Monday more why don't they do that okay um, there's a reason and there's a solution and I want you to uh, to benefit from the uh, content of uh, the blog as well as what I just shared with you so uh, again, I thank you. I look forward to being with you uh, again, hopefully tomorrow. But if not, hopefully sooner than later. But in either case, do take care until then. Bye. All right. I think it just did something too between 7 and 8. Uh,